Hey Internet, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So welcome aboard. Behind me are two eight foot uh, tall barn doors that'll fit perfectly in my high cube. Now, they're made of glass. Those aren't shower doors. Those are real live barn doors. It took myself and three other full size men to get it in here safely. I'm off grid. There's me, my brains, a tractor, of Dolly and Leah's out here somewhere. I don't fixing her hair or something. I, I don't know. Uh, she's like four foot nothing. So I, I, it's me effectively. So let's see if I could get this done. I, listen, I'm vested in these because they're well. I I looked smaller ones than this. I found for seventeen hundred. I paid three hundred dollars for the both of them. And uh, so I'm vested in them. So uh, if I break them, I'm still coming out ahead because the barn glide hardware alone is worth the 300. So, but I want these in there because I want my shipping container home from end to end to be as light and airy as possible, but still have some walls between the Jack and Jill bathroom and the office. So uh, if visitors come and anybody ever likes me, nobody does, but let's say by chance, somebody comes way off grid and wants to visit and they bunk in uh, the optional bedroom slash office. I might want to close off our bathrooms is all I'm saying. So, and But I want light the full rest of the time. So this, uh, the walls will be movable. I could push them to one side, right? And up, up there we'll go. And if I get time on this video, we'll do some mock-ups. Maybe with these even. We'll see. All right. Without further ado, I'm going to put you on stop motion while I do this. And uh, wish me well. Fingers crossed, hey? So I do like having Leah out here because on matters such as this, I like a safety officer for one. Uh, this isn't bad. I could throw my back out, you know. But it took four guys to load it in. Uh, we got one guy to work with. So I need to be smart. But it's nice to have somebody out who's also feeding in ideas on how to get this done. So uh, furniture dolly. Let's start with the tractor. What I'm going to do is take and put pallets on the uh, tractor and get them staged. So when I move these up, I can just swivel it around and load it. So I'm not shuttling back there. I'll pick the door that's on the top. I'll load it on the dolly and hopefully just roll it right onto the, uh, hopefully roll it right onto the fork truck. So let's do that part. This is worth mentioning. <clears throat> so stage one, you saw me jockey the tractor around and get it. I think it's far enough away. It's at the same height as the uh, the truck. I'm thinking if I load that up onto the onto the furniture dolly, I can just roll it right onto the pallet and just with a little bit of effort. But one thing I'll mention is I saved a bunch of people were throwing these away, moving out. Some of these are car for under carpets to grip them so they don't slide. Some of them were shelf liners. And I thought, oh, I, I don't know. I thought I would use this for uh, engineered soil when I do my drive. So um, all, whenever you get on a bridge, uh, on-ramp bridge in, a, in the United States, most countries, it's actually compressed earth. And in between the earth, they put a mesh in between it. And that's what we're all driving on. So it's called engineered soil, right? So I thought... For my driveway, that's all I've got out here is clay. I don't have any gravel. I don't have anything valuable. Just clay. <laughs> so I thought I can <clears throat> build it up off the ground so the clay stays dry. And then to give it an engineered roll, I'll take this uh, old carpet or, or whatever and I'll put it down. But this is better because it allows water to percolate through um, and then give the soil an engineered uh, vibes. But in my particular case, look how handy it is for glass. I've been using this in between all this glass that I'm buying. Um, so keep that in mind if you need to protect panes of glass. Just these uh, carpet liners uh, and or shelf liners is all it is. So let me do the next step, which is to get that onto the furniture dolly. 
And I'm not going to put this on the furniture dolly. That The furniture dolly is, has rubber on it. I'd be worried I'd roll that underneath. Hey, safety officer. Where are you at? Woman. Boy's going to need help. Pretty lady. I need help. Finish up. Hurry up. Chop, chop. Hey, that's burning and I want to go home. Ah, well. Hey! Yeah? I, I need you, baby. I know, I just finished. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I need you uh, over here. We're going to talk about this. And I'm not sure about flip flops either. Come on over here, let's talk about it. I'll hit the camera. Yeah, these windows are hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Like and subscribe if I should be nicer to Leah. Probably shouldn't. She was like, went in there, she's looking at Rob Thomas again. Not that I'm jealous, but I got things to get done. Mr. Rob Thomas could come out here and help me move. Oh, she's hearing me, she's hearing me got some. Get over here, woman, chew me out over here. I know, I didn't want you to wash them dishes. Well, I like them just the way they are. No, I don't like them dirty. All right, so stay in here and we're gonna talk in front of the camera. Okay. So now you got, she got them boots. I like that boot. These are super heavy. So I'm gonna lift that one up on the blanket. You're gonna set that furniture dolly in the middle, bend the wooden back, and then I'm gonna roll that all the way onto the pallet. That's the game plan. What I can't do is like hit this corner against one of those edges because if I hit a sharp thing, it's just going to blow up. Yeah. This is that tempered glass. Yeah. And then I'll be back. The only thing I'll value will be the hardware. And I really want the glass. Okay. Now, before I pick it up, let me ask you what you think of my game plan. And if you see any flaws. No, I thought it was a good one. You thought? <laughs> because it's the only way to roll it. You can't. Right. You're not the strength of five men. Yeah, I got my back brace on. I'm not the strength of five men. And we need to make sure that's almost centered and then it'll roll easier. Tell me that I'm sexy. That'll give me the strength of five men. All right, you're, you're in charge of the dolly. We don't need to move fast, but we need to move accurate. Um, this is super heavy. So, you know what, right here, I think even if you help me take 30 or 40 pounds off tipping it up, I think it will be beneficial. So maybe help me tip it and then I'll walk to the middle. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, go! Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's not that heavy. <laughs> no, I mean, for me and you, this yeah, is for good. For fulcrum using... Uh, yeah. Listen, we're using physics in our brains because yeah. we don't got... Okay, so my idea was to bend those up, clean the path, yes. and put down. I mean, it's heavy. Don't dollars. get me wrong. It's it's just. We did all right. I agree with that. So go ahead. Put I'll hold it up. You put the furniture dolly under. You think right there is the middle? I think that. I think that's the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, maybe down a little bit. How about we both put a foot underneath the wheel and lower this back down. Careful behind you. Mm -hmm. you step out. I got it. You step out. Go back to where you were. You're all the way out. I'm all the way out. Ready? Let's lower. Lower, 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 lower. Okay. We did it. Okay, so see where it's trying to roll into the metal? If I have a corner strike this, it will it just explode. So um, <clears throat> what I need you is to help me guide this. Okay. Your end. And uh, just don't let this corner yeah. strike that. <clears throat> yeah. And we'll roll it back and okay. then make a decision from there. Ready? Okay. Put your hand on that. Right. You are so smart. This dolly was Leah's idea. Because no. Leah loves Miss Dolly. 
I should get my dolly shirt on. Hey, everybody, look at her boobs. Hey, do your end. It's rolling. It's rolling. I got it. Oh, do my end. I'm so interested in her end, I messed up my end. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. All right. So, you go in, and then once it's at the wheel, you can come over here and we can. That's what I'm thinking. We'll just scooch it like that. Yeah. Ready? Hold on. One, two, three. A little at a time. Oh, or all at once. I don't care. All right. Watch your fingers. I okay. got Okay. Back, back. We'll just pull the this thing way. out. No. Because what I'll do is get in the tractor, you hold it. Okay. And I'll pick it up. This is probably balanced, right? For the most part. Oh, I've got a black widow here. I'm going to show you what their nest looks like okay. and when we're done, so you can learn to recognize their web. So we're in between the houses. What I'm scared of is the horses bumping this. Uh, they're big and they're dumb. So we're gonna prop it up there uh, on that pallet and I'm gonna get it in the house as soon as I can, which is probably two weeks. I got a lot to get done. You wanna put this on the bottom bottom? No, I'm satisfied with that. That'll go between. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll bring my tractor in and you know, scooch it and then we'll uh, lower the port and we'll just kind of slide it and walk it onto that. Yeah. Once we get it there, we can lift it. Yeah. Well, we won't have to lift it because I'll get the port. But I mean, but you know, I mean, lift yeah. it up. Like the thing with the outlets, the, the Moai, we'll, we'll do it together. I mean, it's probably 300 pounds, I guess. And you and I seem to be doing a pretty good yeah. job of it. Okay, so I'm going to go on over here. Yeah. I think right here is good. That's good? good? Yeah. All right. So maybe leave it right like that and it will tip off, or do you want me to angle it down? if that's a better deal or not. So real gently. Is that better for us? A little bit more. Can you go a little bit more? Okay, that's perfect. Perfect? All right. I don't like breathing the diesel fumes, so we'll turn it off. Now, uh, the, uh, the hydraulics will slowly bleed out, so we need to get that moved. I'm ready. Right. I wish I had for us. Oh. 
No, no, you keep yours. You keep yours. No, 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 no. Safety first. See, now you don't have gloves. Yeah, I don't have them for this one, but I'll get another set. Are you ready? Uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Let me leave it there, uh, little girl. Mm -hmm. All right. So I see it got snagged. Of course. Yeah. All the way on. Yeah. Okay. Right, my end. Oh. Let me do my end. There you go. So let me. I'll I'll do, do, do the scoochie first. and you just hold, right? something here. Um, Would you go get another piece of foam? Or okay. break a piece off of there. This one. Yep, that'll work. Alright. And then so, we'll put something around here. Yeah, right? I'll, uh, you know, safety tape yeah. it. Alright, so I need to get gloves and we'll go do that one more time. And then this will go between the paints. Tilted this way a little, so we need to be careful standing on the pallet. Yeah, I see that. So, perfect. Alright, perfect enough. Okay. Alright, let's duplicate that again. Alright, everybody, look at them horses. Look at them. Hi, so When did they just eat, Leah? At 8. And what time is it now? I don't know. It's 2 o'clock, isn't it? <laughs> Two o'clock. They hear us working, and then they come and they stand. Oh, now uh, you can give them a pet attention. I'm okay with that, oh, but I don't want no food. Con artist. I put little Leah to work while I stand here and watch. Come on, let's get going. Got things to do. <laughs> do have things to do, <laughs> but I want to thank Leah for doing. I don't think one man could have done this. <laughs> I, I not uh, not safely like yeah. you know the and we still have a risk of breaking but that felt I felt safe the entire time I felt in control yeah. you felt in control I felt yeah. in control we're gonna duplicate the same process on the next one every bit of 300 pounds and I think more than that personally I think so yeah. Okay, this is a good training moment. Let me show you what a black widow nest looks like. So you know how normally spiders have a pattern, a consistency? Mm -hmm. Black widows do this mumbo jumbo. It's just hodgepodge. When you see that, there's a black widow. Now I poisoned it yesterday. You see the dead little body? Well, right there. Oh. Yesterday I couldn't see her. But notice she was on my shift, right? So just waiting, but when you see a confused web, That's so then you know that there's a black widow uh, nearby. And the black widows can give a dry bite where it doesn't cause you any damage, or they can, well, or they can do a wet bite with venom. So they can choose how much what they want to inject you with. Don't get them on a bad day. Don't get them on a bad day, right? <laughs> when they've had a lot of water and they haven't been able to synthesize a lot of poison. All right, so the last thing, Lee and I did all this hard work in a hurry. 
I think very successfully. I felt in control. Uh, Leah's ideas were sound. So the last thing is to load up the tractor so we can hopefully go logging, but um, the storm front is building in. Let me bring the tractor up for y'all. I'm not gonna lash it down because we're staying in the woods. I, I'm, I'm not hitting the road. So I don't have to lash it down. So probably a typical day, <laughs> a weekend day. Sometimes I have Leah with me, that's nice. But uh, uh, it's still pretty early. It was before the horses were supposed to eat, so it's before 11. But we're getting all this done so we can go logging. I've got uh, four or five logs I wanna chop down. And if I can, I'll get them loaded and back before the rain. We'll see. But this will be it for that video. This video, like and subscribe. And y'all can say, Steve, you're a little mean when Leah's around. I understand. I, she's a sweetie. And uh, I can use my please and thank yous a little bit more. But I just don't want to hurt. That's all. I just don't want to hurt. So I'm a little bossy. A little bossy. Like and subscribe.